I'm going to draw a coffee cup, a croissant, a donut. Hello. I'm going to use a pencil, a piece of paper, and I'm going to turn it this way. Well, you can turn it any way you want. I'm going to have it like that. Then I'm going to have um, dark purple. Then I'm going to have this one. Then I'm going to have um, this one, which is sort of a mix of both of them. You can see it's sort of a mix. Then I'm going to have a green, then a pink, then an orangish yellow. If you don't have these exact colors, it does not matter. And so I'm just going to start drawing. You can color any of these your own color. These are just the colors I'm using. So first I'm going to draw a cup, a coffee cup. Hold it on there. Okay. Yes. And you see I have my handle. I used, this is like quick and simple. I just used a little teddy bear as my logo. You don't have to. I just did. And you can see I just did some random shapes in there. That, and I made a bit 3D with doing that and some steam. And now I'm going to fast forward while I color. Okay, we're done with our teacup. Bravo! Okay, now I'm doing the second, number two, the picture number two, which is a croissant on a plate. Now, let's get started. Okay, so first I'm going to take my pencil and I'm just going to draw sort of like a C, but the wrong way around, like this. Sort of like a rainbow, like that. But then make it like that, and point it, and then make it really big in there, and then point it again. And that is our croissant, that is pretty no, easy. Like um, and then we're gonna circle, and then we're gonna put a circle around it. Don't worry if it's not exact, like, what well, I have a little okay. thing here, sort of like part sort of thing. Does not matter. This is gonna be our plate. Then on the inside, we have to draw a line. Like this again does not matter if it's perfect. Tons of people does not look good. Like I'm just doing my best. And then I'm just gonna like, then I'm just gonna like add on some texture like this. And you don't have to do texture exactly like me, but I would. It's like um, it's um, a good way to add texture and to, like add like this. And then I'm sort of doing it in a pattern. So I'm gonna go in, add some lines, some more texture because croissants have a lot of texture. And that, that, and then I'm gonna add in just like. You would think scribbles, okay. sort of, like it's actually we are ready to go outside. and okay. it's like this, and you should add in bits, and now I'm going to speed it up as I color. Okay, we finished our croissant! Bravo, this was one of the easiest. Now I'm going to put it over there, and we're going to start new. Now I'm going to draw a donut which is number three. So I'm just going to take my pencil, draw any size circle you want. 
this. Like it does not matter. <laughs> then do the small circle in the middle. And then, the best and then just draw some little like like um boxes, like really long boxes that look sort of like sprinkles because we're doing and sprinkles. On this, you've drawn maybe it. not. You've you have to do sprinkles on job. yours. Now, maybe but we I'm just going to draw color. sprinkles on mine because yeah. um, mine is just like, I just wanted to put These sprinkles on. If you're a sprinkle brown. person, put sprinkles on. If you're not, don't. Now yeah. I'm going to fast forward when we color. We're all done with our donuts! Bravo!